Hello and welcome to Dee Dee Blooms. This video I'm introducing you to my gastrochylus orchids. I only have two. I think that's plenty. They are adorable. They're very small. Put my hand in there so you can see. Got my dog, Bernie, coming to say hi. Um, so again, I have two of them. I bought these, um, I think it was last July, uh, from Andy's Orchids. So I've had them for a number of months. They were both mounted. I will look up pictures from back when I first got them. And I took them off the mounts and I potted them up. It was too hard to keep them um, moist. Uh, this one is the Bellinus and it's from Burma. And again, the water, it likes to stay moist. The temperature is warm, intermediate to cool. So it's very temperature tolerant and it likes shade for its light. The next one I have is the Somai. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This one's from Taiwan. It also likes to stay moist, uh, temperature tolerant with cold, intermediate and warm and shaded light. <laughs> so both of these have been doing pretty well in my care. Uh, this leaf has grown for me. Uh, I've grown a couple leaves. Uh, this one is a little bent and wonky, not sure why. Um, and it's also growing this new leaf. It finished maturing this leaf in my care for the Bellina. This one has never bloomed for me. Um, but it's been doing well and it's been growing some roots into the pot. Uh, I have them potted in um, chunky bark with perlite pieces. I have some moss at the bottom and a little bit of moss um, within the mixture. The mixture also has some um, charcoal pieces, um, charcoal bits in and around. Um, but it seems to be doing well. I don't see a lot of roots down into the pot, but there are some and it's well hydrated for the Bellina and the same for this one. It's potted in the same manner. Uh, you can see more roots there in the pot. Seems to just be a little bit more well established. And the fun thing about this one is I believe this is a flower spike right there see how it looks different than that root right next to it the one problem is though um, is that it's growing right into the media <laughs> so i'm not sure what to do i've been trying to not soak it with water um i'm not sure what the deal is and what it's going to do but i'm just keeping an eye on it uh, if you look a little more closely you can see the mottled leaves very lightly mottled leaves uh, the Somai has. So pretty when the light hits it just right. It's, you can really see the variation in the, the leaf yeah. color. Excuse my dog in the background. He must have a hairball or something. That's him coughing. So I'm hoping to have blooms with this soon. It had bloomed um, 
not too long after I got it. So I'll look up those pictures and try to put that up as well. So yeah, been enjoying these. These have been growing in my north window with my Phalaenopsis and Bulbophyllums. So getting bright indirect light. Uh, I fertilize uh, pretty much with every watering, weekly, weekly. Uh, I usually water them once a week. I had some times during the winter where I would skip a week, so it was maybe every couple weeks. Uh, so I, I wait to give them a nice dry out, not for too long, but, um, and then of course I try to flush um, at least every few waterings um, to make sure there isn't too much mineral buildup. And yeah, hopefully they'll continue to do well. I've been enjoying them. They're just beautiful little orchids. and. I recommend them for anyone's collection. There are other different types with uh, little flower variations out there. And uh, yeah, so that's my introduction and how I've been caring for them so far. Hopefully I will have a bloom video coming up. Um, I'm gonna guess maybe in another month or two I'll have some blooms to show you. Alrighty, you guys have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching.